All right. Let's get started. So I posted on our team page not too long ago that I was getting ready for our first team connection for this year. And which, by the way, I'm so happy to be back on here. It feels so good. Like I've missed this so much. We used to do monthly team calls, monthly leadership calls. We do director calls with our directors and above. Uh, we would do it quarterly. I miss this so much. I basically took like an eight month maternity leave as far as like scaled way back in my business, was only doing the most important income producing things. Um, just taking that time in with my baby girl and really just soaking it all in and just not overwhelming myself in the business side of things because family is the most important. And um, I just, I needed that until I gained my mental sanity back as far as like getting into a routine. I don't do very well when I'm not in a routine. It's very hard for me to focus. Um, my brain is like, dur, 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 dur. if I don't have like systems in place, for my business, systems in place for keeping the house clean, the kids on a schedule, like I need a schedule and a routine to thrive well. And so that eight months, I needed that so much because we we're finally in a good nap routine. We're in a good like rhythm with school and sports are not like super overwhelming right now. And so it just feels so good to be back. It feels good to be back here with y'all. And, um, you know, not that I went anywhere, obviously y'all know that, but I, I definitely started working a lot different and it has been great. I mean, I had some of the highest PRV months I've ever had. I had a couple of 7,000 PRV months and, um, earned the Hawaii incentive for me and my husband. We're taking both kids and my mother-in-law. So it's going to be really cool. Um, very, very blessed and thankful for that. So I posted on our team page that we were getting ready for this, that I, you know, I wanted to answer any questions that y'all had. So I wanted to answer those first. And like I said, if y'all have questions as we go, let us know, put it in the chat box, feel free to unmute at any time. And, um, but make sure you are muted. I think all of you should be muted. Yes, y'all are all muted. Okay, that's like my worst fear when I'm on a Zoom. <laughs> that I'm gonna unmute or like nursing my baby and I accidentally turn my video on like I, it's like my worst fear okay so the first one was all the busy mama systems are you still managing happy mail Cincy clubbers anything new with them okay so if you have been watching how I work for at least the last few years you know that um starting in I think it was 2020 I was doing Scentsy Club Happy Mail for every single order that billed during that month for Scentsy Club. I do have over 80 subscribers now for Scentsy Club, so I get a lot of PRV from that. I get anywhere from 1,500 to 2,000 PRV a month just from Scentsy Club now, depending on what month it is. And um, that was a lot of hours of work, and I did enjoy that. I love that. Um, it's fun because I can like use my creative side and do like themed mailers and stuff like that. But when you get that many subscribers, it becomes very, very, very time consuming. And um, that's time I literally don't have right now since having a baby. When I had one kid and he was in school, I had the time. Now I don't have the time to do that. So I don't do that. I mean, I would be up working late to do that. And it's not worth sacrificing my sleep at this point in my business for that. And I also haven't seen any difference. I stopped doing Cincy Club Mail eight months ago when my daughter was born. And I still have the same subscribers. They still love me just as much. And they um, still have their Cincy Clubs. They're still spending a lot of money. Um, I'm still getting new subscribers. So I just want you to know, like, if you are not doing happy mail for your Cincy Clubbers, that is not something that you have to do, especially budget wise. Like right now, we all need to be solely focused on making money for our family. And there are so little, there's so little overhead with this business, right? Like we have a $15 website every month, which is definitely necessary because you cannot sponsor without that. You can't grow your team without that. And you cannot, um, people can't find you on the locator if you don't have that. And if there's a flash sale or any kind of sale that is exclusive to your website, nobody can shop that because it's never available on our workstation. 
So you have to have that. Um, that, you know, other than buying your new transition catalogs and testers and all that every six months, that's the bare minimum. So there's so many ways, you know, to keep your samples cheap and all of that. Um, you can use the scratch and sniff stickers. We get product credit. So if you have earned sensational start, or if you have sponsored someone who earned shooting star, you get product credits for all of that. And those can be found in your account tab under account ledgers. You can apply those to business supplies. So when you go to buy your transition supplies this month, you can, you can apply those product credits to that. Um, at minimum for transition month, by the way, I would say grab the um, the the kit that I can't remember exactly what it's called. The kit that comes with a transition set of testers, catalogs, scratch and sniff stickers of all the new scents, and a product training guide, which is very important to have. I don't remember where mine are. Here they are. Product training guide. I get this every season. It's very important, especially with new products coming out. It has so many good tips in here and it tells you so many facts about each product. It helps you sell them, gives you ideas. So that kit comes with all of that. It also comes with product lists. So these, and they have, I fold them up like this um, and then catalogs and then a transition set of testers, which means you put those new scents that come in that set with your old scents and um, it makes a full scent. So that's really all you need. But for me, I like to have at least a full set here so that if anybody wants to stop by and smell the scents or if you have a home party or anything like that, um, transition business tools kit, yes. Um, that way you can have that full set, but then also a transition set to put in your borrow bags or bag parties, whatever you call those, sniff bags, whatever y'all call them. I call mine borrow bags. So I personally buy multiple transition sets because I have a lot of those. But like I said, at minimum, you need those, you need that stuff. And even if you want to get even more minimal than that, do the scratch and sniffs of all the new releases the product list because they're cheaper than the catalogs and a transition set of testers at minimum. Like if that's all you can do this month, get that right now and then do like catalogs later or whatever. And a lot of people just send the digital catalog, but I love to have catalogs on hand. <clears throat> okay. So I'm not doing Cincy Club Mail anymore. I haven't done Happy Mail either in the last eight months. Like I used to would send a Happy Mail, um, Happy Mailer to every single customer every time they ordered. And I would do a um, scent of the month sample or a scent of the month scratch and sniff and the warmer of the month brochure, my story, a thank you card, host and join info and Cincy Club info. And then I would put a product list in there. And then you could put extra things. Like I like to do glitter or confetti because that's just who I am as a person. Um, you can put extra samples in there. Like for a while, I was able to have my customers request extra samples. Like I would have certain samples on hand and they could pick from those. I just don't have time to do that stuff anymore. Um, I try to only work my business about two hours a day during the week and then I'm off on weekends. Sometimes I'll work three hours, um, but I work during nap time and that's sometimes I have to work at night, which is totally fine with me. I love to work at night, like after the kids are in bed. And a lot of times my husband has to do schoolwork or he has to work and do his scheduling at night. So it works out well if we're not like spending time together. Um, but I'm fine with that. That's fine with me. And then like if I have a Facebook live party, I will do multiple hosts in one party. And then I can go live one night out of the month or two nights out of the month versus trying to go live multiple times out of the month. I don't do that anymore. So my little, oh no. <laughs> okay. So you can do happy mail. You can do Cincy Club mail. You can do whatever your heart desires. I just want you to understand it's not necessary. If you're staying connected with your customers, you're building relationships with your customers, you're following up with your customers, you're letting all of your customers know about new products, sales, specials, all of that. And then obviously if somebody requests a sample or if they want to smell the testers or if they're not local and they want to smell a certain scent and you have it on hand to sample to them, by all means, send it to them. That's what I do. But right now I'm just not in a place where I'm doing like 
happy mail systems at all. And it's not affecting my sales at all. But you have to be top-notch customer service and communicate with your customers and recommend, get really good at recommending scents also, depending on what they like. Um, build them a custom six pack if they like vanilla scents or if they like fruity scents or whatever. You've got to stay on top of your customer service. You've got to use your sales reports in the reporting tab. You can look up everyone who has ordered all of the discontinuing scents this month and reach out to them personally and say, hey, your favorite scent is discontinuing this month. You've got to get it in Scentsy Club if you want to lock it in. Or you can grab a six pack on sale for 27 bucks um, and stock up that way if you want to. But Scentsy Club is the way to go. Focus hard on Scentsy Club because y'all heard at the beginning of this training how much PRV I get a month. And I've been building that since 2020. And that's where I built it to, which is incredible. So now all of my extra PRV, I I go for 4,000 PRV minimum a month now because I'm already getting all that from Scentsy Club. I didn't lower my PRV goal because I get all that from Scentsy Club. That is important. You have to network. You have to grow your business consistently. Does this sound like a war zone in my house? I don't know how loud the gunshots are. What are you doing? What are you doing? Can you make me some milk? Can I make you some milk? Yes. One second. Okay. Go play your game. Let's see. Busy mama system. So here's busy mama system. Here's my busy mama system. Everything is in the notes section of my phone. Everything. I don't even hardly use my planner anymore. We have like a master calendar on our wall where me and my husband can both see it. And I have everything color coordinated. I have practices. I have games. I have appointments. I have his softball games. I have um, like world tour. I have my parties or my trainings on there. That way my husband knows like, okay, she has a training or a party this night. I need to be on extra, extra bedtime duty, um, that kind of stuff. So we have a master calendar of that. And then my planner, I really don't even use it hardly ever anymore because I just need everything to be on the go because I'm constantly on the go or I'm around my house, not really sitting in my office very often, um, like sitting at my desk to be with my planner. So I have an iPhone and I have a Mac and I have a MacBook. So all, if you have Apple products, your notes section links to all of that. If you don't though, you can do like Google Drive. My baby's waking up. Um, you can do Google Drive and it's a cloud-based system where you can have all of your stuff in one system. So like I've got my cleaning schedule in here. I've got my weekly work schedules, my meal plan, my daily task list that I pull from all that other stuff to plan each day the night before. I have upcoming parties in here, mail I've sent, who it went to, when it went out, um, the planning ahead from the workstation, potential recruits, current parties, flip catalog link, um, potential hosts. Every system I need for my business is in here other than my annual sales and annual mentor tracker and my incentive tracker. So, and then I track my numbers also on paper. So that's my system. I mean, that's the simplest system I've ever done. And it's been the most efficient for where I'm at right now in life. I'm going to go get her up and then I'm going to fix my son some milk. And I'm going to have Kelsey, if you want to start, she's going to talk to y'all about home parties, I think. Um, I'm going to let her go ahead and start. Okay. I was talking to Erin in the middle of that and all I heard you say was I'm gonna let her go ahead and start. I was like, crap, who's she talking about? Okay. Sorry, I was opening bills. Yay. Okay. <clears throat> so first of all, thanks to Morgan for asking me to join you guys. Um, I know it was kind of stressful, mainly for her. I'm a pretty flexible person for the most part, but I also don't have a newborn child. Um so it was kind of stressful picking a date. So um, sorry if Saturday didn't work for everybody. Um, hopefully, I don't think this is going to become a, a normal thing. Kelsey, you're muted. 
I don't know why I did that. Okay, there we go. That's, I had said, I haven't done a call in so long, it feels like, and I guess I forgot how to use everything. So like I saw, I don't know. Anyways, okay. So Morgan asked me to talk to y'all about home parties. Um, sometimes I think, which I haven't done a home party in, in, in a while. Um, most people still prefer uh, online parties, um, but I get, thank you. I get the occasional person that wants me to come into their home and um, and host a party in their home. So um, sometimes I think I'm one of the only people still kind of brave enough to do that because I think home parties just kind of scare people. But I am just a very social butterfly and sorry, my my kids and husband are home today. So y'all probably gonna hear noises this whole time. Like just, um Anyways, I'm a social butterfly. I thrive off of social interaction and being around people. So I, I love a good home party. Um, and now that COVID is somewhat behind us, I know that it's still going on, but people aren't as scared of it um, as we were in the beginning. We didn't really know anything about it. So things are starting to return. I have really returned to normal and most people are becoming comfortable again asking for us to come into their homes and host parties. So um, pre-COVID, I was very successful with home parties. I, I did those. Most of the time, I didn't really care for Facebook parties. They stressed me out because I would forget about them. And um, which, thank goodness for things like, um, is it Visly that I used so much on my Facebook parties? Now I do messenger parties and they're, to me, a lot easier. But um, then like an actual Facebook party. But I, I, before COVID, I loved a good home party. I, I considered myself pretty successful with them. So one day I just sat down last, the year before last and made this nice little um, list of things, like just tips for doing a home party. Um, so I'm just going to kind of try and go through those. I am very long winded and I struggle to shorten things, but I'm going to try really hard to, um, condense all of this into like 10 minutes that way you guys don't have to just sit and listen to me babble so the first thing you want to think about is pre-party planning if you have never done a host a host a home party before pre-party planning is super essential um there's that saying um if you fail to plan you plan to fail um so you've got to you've got to have pre-party planning before the party. You don't want to just walk into the party willy-nilly, empty-handed without coaching your hostess or, do, or, or doing any type of planning for it. So you want your host to create a wish list. That's one of the things, one of the first things I, I do. I'm like, okay, hey, I'm going to start setting everything up. I'm going to start getting everything together. I want you to take the catalog I've given you. I'm like, Morgan, I, I do like to have a catalog on hand to give people, especially older people. They don't care nothing about the links that you sit on. They want to they want to flip through that that handheld handheld catalog, and I guess I'm an elderly person because I do too. I prefer a handheld catalog all day long. So either way, send them a link or give them a hand a, a paper catalog. Have them create a wish list. Get them pumped up for what they're wanting. Um, tell them to put the things they want the most first, and go from there. And then. I always set up a party page on my, or a party link on my PWS um, so that people that can't make it in person, they can shop uh, anyways. And um, people that are out of town, things like that, um, or, or not local, they can go ahead and, and get what they want still. So you want to create a party link. Um, get to know your host. This is extremely important. You don't ever want your host or hostess to, to think that they're, we don't have any apples, but we don't have any apples. Sorry. Yes, good. All questions need to be directed to your father. Um, anyways, the um, get to know your hostess is super important. You don't ever want your hostess to think that you're just using them for money purposes or anything like that. Like you really want to build a rapport with whoever um is hosting a party for you I've had several hostesses that I didn't know from Adam because they booked off of like a friend's party or something like that um and you want to build a rapport with them um and solidify some type of friendship with them before you walk in their home because it, it tends to be 
extremely awkward if you don't. So, um, but again, you just, you don't want them to think that you're just there to make money. Like you want them to feel safe with you, comfortable with you. And um, no, I'm not, let me just put it down. Um, so anyways, you're, uh, you want them to feel comfortable. Okay. And then maintain regular contact. That's a good way to make them feel comfortable. Um, don't just text them. Um, you know, the day before the party, like you haven't spoke to them in a month since they booked, but you text them the day before the party, like, hey, I'm coming tomorrow. Like, you want to keep regular, I'm not talking about blowing their phone up daily, but you want to keep regular contact with them, maybe, you know, have them make their wish list, and then like a few days later, be like, hey, have you got your wish list done, and um, get them to send you that, and ask them if they have any questions, and then a week, you know, two weeks before their party, remind them, a week before their party, like, I'm not talking about become besties with them unless you just want to, but definitely don't just leave them hanging for a whole month before um, their party. So uh, <clears throat> um, be sure to treat your hostesses like VIPs. Um, you got to think a hostess lets you into their home, um, introduces you to all the people that they love, and invites you to make their friends your customers. So um, it's just very important to think, to treat them like they're the most important person there. And they, they are. Um, so because they are providing income for you. So that is, it's very important to treat them top tier. Make sure they don't over invite, um, as, which I know Facebook party is not relevant to this, but um, the, Facebook parties, people are so bad about over inviting. Like I've forgotten to tell people before not to over invite and they'll invite like their entire friends list, a list of 2,500 people. And like people go to log on to that party or whatever. And they see 2,500 people invited and they're like either overwhelmed or think it's like fake or just anything like that. So I always tell people to invite, especially to home parties, you don't want to over invite because you don't want that many people stuck inside a home. I always say, like 15 to 20 because half of those are going to come normally. Um, usually you can plan for half of that. So if you invited 20 people, I expect 10 and that's a really good turnout. Um, so uh, you can also for home parties, encourage your hostess to provide light refreshments. So that's kind of neither here nor there. Some of them say don't want to, and that's perfectly fine. Um, with groceries costing an arm and a leg lately, people may not want to, and that's okay. Um, so, but like I've had people go all out and did like a, a whole spread. We love those people. Um, but I've also had people, what just happened? Okay. <laughs> that <laughs> is new. Um, okay. So, um, uh, it can be light or heavy, but I've also had people just do like cookies and lemonade or something like that, like just to provide some snacks. Um, and then display is super important. Um, it's important how you can how you plan to display and demonstrate the products. A good rule of thumb is to carry everything you need in one trip from the car. Like if it's going to take multiple trips, you've brought too much. Um, if it if you can't and now, granted, like I'm talking about Scentsy products strictly. Like you don't want to take you don't want to take every Scentsy product that you own into this party. You want to keep it simple, um, as not to stress out the people that are looking at things because if they're looking at everything, it just becomes overwhelming. Like I tend to take um, two of my favorite warmers, a diffuser, some of the cleaning pro. Like I tend to take my favorite things. Um, and not everything or like our best sellers. Like I always have something from the cleaning line in my display. Um, I don't sell a lot of laundry products, so I don't tend to take a, a lot of laundry products, but, um, if you can carry it all in one trip from the car, like two big Aldi bags full or the, what are the, the 31 bags, the big rectangle ones. I used to carry all my stuff in those. If you can, Scentsy probably has Scentsy branded bags now like that. Um, if you can carry them on both arms and everything fits in that and it's one trip, that's a good rule of thumb. 
Um, be selective about what you bring, um, which puts into practice our core value of simplicity. And that's also my word for 2024. So don't overcomplicate the party. Um, when you keep it simple, your hosts and your guests are more than likely are more likely to experience I can do this moments. So like they may see you keeping it simple and think, oh, this isn't as hard as it looks. And I might be able to do this myself. And you have a bigger chance of someone joining your team at the end too, um, or hosting a party. Um, so keep it simple and effective. Uh, check with your host and see if they have a warmer or two on hand. So you don't even have to bring your own warmers. Um, so you can actually show how a product looks in action too. Like just leave them where they've got them sitting. Um, and then that your host can show off everything that they love. Um, so I made a list of things that I tend to take. I put two warmers, current warmers, if possible. Um, I take a diffuser and an oil. Most of the time I take my deluxe diffuser, um, which honestly, I love my, uh, premium diffusers just because they're beautiful. But I use my deluxe diffuser more than absolutely more than anything. I run it every day or them. I run them every day. And I just I don't know. I guess it's because they last so much longer than the premium. But you know, take a take a premium diffuser if that's what you've got, or if, if you want to show that off because they are so gorgeous. I take a counter clean and a Scentsy Fresh or laundry products. I choose which which one I, which one sells best for you. Um, I sell more cleaning products, so I, I display those. A bar and a brick to compare sizes and to also reference Scentsy Club um, because you can, if you're in Scentsy Club, you get um, access to the, the large bricks. And so you can bring that up. And then um, also be sure to bring another bar to warm during the party and be sure not to use more than one scent if you're going to warm it during the party because you don't want everyone leaving with a headache. Um and then I take a pack of cotton cleanups. I keep shaking my phone um, to show them how they work at the end of my presentation when I clean out the warmers. And then if you've got a scentsy tablecloth, if you, if, if you don't, it's fine. Tablecloths just look real nice. They make everything look kind of crisp and clean. Um, if you don't have a scentsy tablecloth and you want to purchase one, they have them available in the success store for uh, really good prices. So when you... That just happened. When you start the party, you're going to introduce yourself, tell them a little about you and your Scentsy journey. Always start with some type of icebreaker. This is really important to me because, again, heck, I'm dust. Um, you don't want them to feel so awkward, um, especially if none of the most of them don't know you. Um, you just you don't want them to feel uncomfortable. One of my favorite, and there's so many games you can find on the training tab in, I think the training tab in workstation. I get on Pinterest too and look up a lot of them, honestly. Yes, what Morgan said, I only could read part of it, but um, a $1, yes, purple or black tablecloth is going to look just fine. If you, I have the Scentsy ones just because I do open houses twice a year and I just use those for my open house. So I always take them to my parties. Um, I have, there's ton of games, tons of games that I like, but my favorite one is called just a phone call away. Um, everyone this day and age has a cell phone. Um, so when they're all there, ask everyone to take their cell phone out, hold it in their hand and you're going to have yours in your hand as well. Tell them that it's the easiest game they'll play the whole time. And if you can't write this down, if you're taking notes, don't try to write this down. I will link all of this in the it's in my Google Drive and I'll link all of it in the team page, the Magnificent Superstars team page. So you can go through it and if you need to. So don't worry about keeping up with me and writing this down. Um, ask everyone to put your phone number in their phone. Um, but don't press call yet. So they're going to and I'm not talking about as a contact, they're going to enter it like they're calling you but they're not going to hit call yet. When you say go, everyone hits call at the same time and your phone's going to ring. You'll answer it and you'll find the winner on the line. You're going to give him or her um, a little goodie. So I do travel twists, car bar clips, room sprays, a bar, something like that, um, that you don't have to come out of pocket. I mean, like I use stuff out of my Scentsy stash or um, 
that I can use as half price reward, you know, your three and a half price stuff on if it's not going to break the bank. Um, and they get the prize for having the fastest fingers in the room. Um, then while everyone still has their phone, tell them to save your number under your name and then Sensi Lady and tell them that they now have your number forever. And if they ever need any Sensi, you're just a phone call away. So now they all have a Sensi Lady's phone number. Um, for your presentation, you're going to make your host feel special. We've already talked about that. Show them, show your host how much you appreciate them and their guests. So once guests see how easy and rewarding it is to be a go ghost, <laughs> a host, they'll be more likely to host a party too. Um, and one big thing, I always take a um, some type of little gift, and I probably talk about this somewhere in here, but I'm just going to go ahead and say it, a little hostess gift um, to give to the hostess in front of whether it's um, – Something like, so if you use your half price rewards, you could do like a mini fan diffuser with a pack of pods. That's going to be um, on the more cost, cost, on the less costly side, least costly side. Uh, you could do, I try not to do just bars because they might, they may not have a warmer yet. They may be doing this party to get a warmer. So I try not to do that. Anything they can use right then and there, room spray, travel twist, um, even a mini warmer. Like you could do a mini warmer in a bar. Um, because you could do, you can use your free and half price products on that, um, or, or what you have on hand. But I always make sure that I give that gift to them in front of the the guests. That way, the guests are like, hmm, like I don't want, I want a free gift, and they, it's more, um, they're more prone to 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 uh, hosting with you afterwards. Um, so. It's easy to want to talk about every single product we have. I'm one of those people. Again, I like to talk. Like, obviously, I said I wanted to only take 10 minutes. I think I've been going for 15 already. I don't know. I didn't look at the clock, but I assume I probably have. Um, but it you, you need to keep it short and sweet. This is something I've had to practice um, and, um, like, make a script for almost. That way I follow it. Um, because I am so long-winded. I love to talk. Sometimes I think I like the sound of my own voice. Um, you don't want guests getting bored and distracted. Um, 20 to 30 minutes is sufficient. And so just focus on your best sellers and your favorite products. How you represent yourself during the party is key to making authentic and engaging connections with guests. You want to display confidence um, and you want to display product knowledge. That... Um, Product guide that Morgan was talking about a minute ago is like essential to me to have at home parties just so I can reach to the side and grab it if I need to, to go through and if there's something that I might not know about a, a product, um, but you want to display product knowledge and but most of all you want to have fun, you don't want to seem like you have a stick in your rear. Um, and you want to have a good time and express your passion for what you do you want your passion for this business to show there are times. There have been seasons in this business where I struggle to find, and I'm, I'm not going to lie, right now I'm in a season with this business because of the economy right now. I'm struggling to really find my passion um, for, I love Scentsy so much. And I told someone the other day, I fully believe I'll sell Scentsy for the rest of my life, even if it's some some months just putting it in order to be active. Like, I, I mean, I, I sell, I'm a director, so I sell and I've been with since eight and a half years. So a lot of, most of the time my PRV is on a, what I consider a higher side. Like I, I shoot for 2000 a month, but it's been a lot lower than that recently. And um, so I'm struggling to find that passion. But when I get to talking about it, like in this video, I get excited or in this call, I get excited about it because I do love the, the business so much. So um, you definitely, when I, when I have home parties, even if I've kind of lost my, lost my wine, like I'm just in a rough patch for the, I always still have fun because I love talking about the business because it has been such a blessing to me and my family in the past and, and still is, even if I'm struggling. Um, so you want to, you want to show that passion and show that you love what you do. Um, you want to know your products. We've already kind of discussed that. Know every item you're selling inside and out. For example, like I said, that I either take cleaning or laundry. Now, granted, I know my laundry products because I use the laundry products, but they're not my best sellers. But if you don't use a product, don't take it and talk like don't talk about it. If there's something like I don't use personally, what is something I don't use? 
I don't use the room sprays a lot and I don't use our travel twist. They're just not my favorite products. Um, and I, it's almost like I just forget to order them. Like I have room sprays, like I keep them in my bathroom and stuff, my, my guest bathroom, but like, I just don't use those things. So I don't take them and I don't talk about them. Like they can, if they have questions about them in the catalog, when they're looking through catalog, I'll answer them all day long. But like, if there's something you may not be, um, as knowledgeable about, just don't talk about it because you want, um, you want to seem more credible and competent to guests. And it's going to make you feel more confident if you're discussing things about, yes. And the non-oil based room sprays that they're releasing in March. I'm so excited for those. And again, I don't use a ton of the room sprays, but I use them in my guest bathroom and they are like, I'm so glad somebody acknowledged that the oil base, because they do, especially we have these like shiny looking, like our tile in our kitchen, it looks shiny. It's probably needs mopped real good right now, but it still looks so shiny. And that oil, like oh, my kids will slip and bust their tail every single time. If I spray that anywhere near this floor, like it's terrible. They are a safety hazard. So, um, I'm super excited about those. Uh, okay. You want to plan a flow for your party. You want to have an agenda to help keep you on track. I mentioned a minute ago that I kind of make myself out of script to kind of keep me on task or I will go off on rabbit trails. I'm very good at that. You want to keep the guests engaged. The last thing any of us wants is to show up to a party and not know what to do. It's just real awkward. Um, you want to make a plan and go over it a couple of times for the party. Keep your audience in mind. Consider uh, the party theme and decide whether to focus on a specific product category. Again, I, that's just kind of up to the... if. if if your hostess wants to do it, I've never done a theme party, but I've heard of hostesses doing theme things, but, and I don't just focus on one specific product category. We talk about most of them. So, um, in closing that, so closing the party, you want to end with a booking game. This is the most important game you're going to play the whole, the whole party. Okay. Um, do not tell them it's a booking game. Because they're going to hear the word booking and they're going to be like, oh, she just wants us. Don't tell them it's a booking game. Okay. You're just going to say that it's another chance to win a free prize. And they're going to be like, all right, I'm in. Um, so here's just a couple of my favorites. And again, you don't have to write all this down unless you think you can keep up uh, with what I'm saying. Again, I'm going to link it. So one is simple. It's called book a party, pick a prize. Um, it's a great way to entice people to book their own party. You're going to take three gift bags or gift boxes with different Scentsy products in them and number them one, two, and three. A big tip, don't spend a bunch of money on these. Use rewards or things that you have on hand. Again, that is like my mantra. Don't, I used to say all the time, I used to tell my, my team members when I would, uh, when, or I'd still do, when I recruit new people, I tell them this is, this business is not meant to break you. It's meant to help you. So you don't want to go pulling out of your pocket 24 seven to the point that you are bitter about this business or resent this, this company because you think that they have taken all your money. Use your rewards, use stuff you have on hand. Don't break the bank. Um, so some example bags, number one might be a mini warmer in a bar. Number two, counter clean and a Swedish dish cloth. I love, people love those Swedish dish cloths. Swedish dish cloths that are in the success store. My mother buys those for me constantly. And I'm getting PRV on them, but she freaking loves them. And I go in the store and get them for her. So a counter clean and a Swedish dish cloth. And number three, a mini fan diffuser and a pack of pots. Keep it simple. Nothing huge. You'll have to give them a diffuser. <laughs> um, put the bags and boxes on display before the party so that everyone can see them during the party so that they're real curious about what's in them. Um, people love a good mystery prize and then tell them that if three people book a future party with you, they can choose one of the bags and they get to keep whatever's in that bag for free. Um, and then entice them by telling them that your host will get an extra half price product if three people book. So if all three of those bags get taken, you can use your perpetual party reward. You don't have to tell, don't tell them that part. Um, use your perpetual party reward to, order them the order the hostess an extra and so like when you use your hostess when you're like hey if you book if three people book this party your hostess which is their friend obviously that they love because they came to this party for them gets an extra reward and that entices people because they love their friends so much um and then my 
favorite game, my favorite, favorite booking game is a booking poem. So you give each guest a note card and a pen if they don't have one, have one with them. And then as you're reading this poem, they tally up their points to what applies to them as you read each line of the poem. And then the person with the most points wins. It's super easy, super simple. Um, you can also give something to the one with the least points also, especially if they haven't won yet. Um, <clears throat> so the poem, I'm not going to read the poem. Y'all can, well, I love this poem so much. It's so fun, but it just kind of goes through and it's like, um, giving yourself points if you came by car, giving yourself points if you have a watch on or a ring, um, 10 more points if your eyes are not blue, uh, score yourself five if you're winning any pink, but take away 10 if you left dishes in the sink. Like, it's just a really fun, um, and so they just write down, um, they tally like for each daughter you give yourself four um sons get three because girls roll and boys drool i guess i don't really know why they get more but um that's what i assume <laughs> um so it's just really fun and everyone has fun with that one i don't know i've literally been doing that one my entire cnc career for eight and a half years that is always a hit and then i give the winner um, the prize but at the very end of that poem it says now that we're finished total your score except if you're a special friend then there's more there's a 50 point bonus for a vip if you'll if you'll host a cincy party for me um so like so they get to add if they decide they'll host a party with you they get to add 50 points automatically and it's very possible they'll end up being the winner most a lot of the times because they score themselves for every year that they've been married. So a lot of times the elderly women, even if they don't uh, book a party, they come out on top because <laughs> they've been married for so long. But people love that game. I don't know what it is, but we always have fun with it. And then you want to finish up by thanking everyone for coming and showing them the sniffing station that you set up before beforehand. Um, I always set up. I always have my testers in a little basket or bowl catalog so they can look pen and paper or order forms to write down the scents that they like and a little tip um a little can of coffee grinds grinds grounds or beans if you sniff that in between each scent it kind of it gets rid of that scent you sniffed before and kind of like read like it read i don't know it, it's really neat but if you sniff the coffee in between each scent it gives you you can you can smell each scent better um so you want to have an order form for their wish list and make sure that their contact info is on all forms that's essential you want to be able to contact them if you need to contact them tell them you're not going to show up at their doorstep but you need their address and their phone number at least it is essential to have all that contact info so if you want to have great sales and you want to reach your income goals um I just read that completely. I didn't use the punctuation that was there. You want to have great sales and you want to reach your income goals. But Cincy, you got to remember Cincy about, is about so much more than that. I understand that we want to have great sales and we want to reach our income goals, especially in this day and time. I know everyone's riding a struggle bus for the most part right now. Um, but you've got to remember Cincy is so much more than what we're, what we're making financially. It's your story. And... Um, these are your people and it's all about adding value to your life and to your customers lives and hostesses lives and just the lives of everyone sitting there so it's about building new communities um and making new friends that's what been one of my favorite parts about being in this business is the friends that i've made i have friends that i talk to daily from other states that i would have never known like i have one friend in new orleans i talk to her every day on snapchat and she adds so much value to my life. And I would have never met her if I hadn't joined this business. And so sometimes, like when I do get in those seasons of like, oh, I don't know if I want to do this anymore. Sometimes, sometimes it'll, what'll get me back on track is like, oh, but like, I want to, I want to stay connected with these people. And what if they don't want to stay connected with me if I'm not a part of this business? And I'm like, you know what? And I'll like, I'll get all like back into my business just because like I value these relationships so much with these people. Um, because they have become some of the biggest parts of my everyday life. So um, it's about building new community communities and your Cincy business is really your legacy. So you want to share it with everyone that you meet. Um, and pretty much that's all I have. So uh, thanks, Morgan, for, for I hope you guys 
learned something of value. And again, I'll link all of this on Morgan's team page uh, if you need it. If I don't do that within the next hour, someone tag me and remind me because I have the brain of a 90 year old. So I'm going to go ahead and mute myself um, again. Morgan, you're muted. You're muted. Oh, sorry. <laughs> okay. Um, I was saying, I'm glad that I'm not the only one with brain of a 90 year old, but I knew that uh, Kelsey would have some really good tips on home parties because I'm not a home partier and she is, I'm like a hardcore social media -er, and um, I have built my business over the last almost 10 years, like pretty much solely through social media. So she's the home partier. I'm the social media person. So um, I'm going to go ahead and have either Stephanie or Jacqueline, whoever wants to go first, I'm going to have them share their tips on what has been working for them. So they're doing amazing PRV. They are partying. They are doing all the things a successful Cincy consultant should do. Um, Stephanie is like on the road to director right now, which is very exciting. Um, so I'll just go ahead and let her go first if that works. Works for me. Okay, and I want you to tell everybody a little about yourself first, who you are, your story, why you do Scentsy, all the things. Can you hear me okay? Yes, I'm trying to put you on here. Hold on one second. Okay, there you go. Okay. Um, hi, everybody. I'm Stephanie Peeler. Um, next month will be my one year with Scentsy. Um I guess I'll give you a little background about myself so it explains a little bit more as I get into things, but um, I'm married with a blended family um, with three teenagers, um, like Kelsey and Morgan. Everybody is home doing chores, doing whatever, and I'm locked in my basement, so I'm alone, um, but um, I was diagnosed with breast cancer September 11th of last year. Um, I am still going through treatment and it's absolutely terrible. And here I am. So anyway, I also have a full-time job that I've been on short-term disability for, um, while I've been doing all my treatment. Um, my Sensi business is, you know, just something that keeps me going. I lay on the couch or I lay in bed and, you know, I just got a couple minutes in between naps or whatever I'm doing. And I might create a post or I might, you know, start a party or I do, whatever. Um, but I'll get into more details with that as we go. And if I get off track, I'm sorry, chemo brain is a real thing. And I might get sidetracked and go one direction and come back and um, touch on another thing. So I'm currently a superstar consultant. Um, I just hit in January, my annual sales award. I also hit level two for our trip, which we will be at SFR because I can't do a lot of traveling with surgeries coming up and treatments and what have you. Um, I currently have a team of 19. So I have most of those people are directly under me. And there's two people that have one or two under them. Um, my minimum PRVs is 2000. I'm usually between 2000 and 3,500, depending on the month, I guess. Um, and today I'm going to talk about recruiting, how to build your team, what I've done, just kind of tips and tricks and um, the sales or the PRV that I've been getting. I am like Morgan, My since I started, everything is 100% online. I do everything on Facebook. My parties are all on Facebook. Um, I set up my shopping links, send those to whoever it belongs to as far as hosting. And I keep things simple. Um, and 
when I say simple, I mean like um, I post consistently on my Facebook page. I post in my VIP group. I post in parties if I have parties going. All the parties are kind of pre-scheduled. I don't use, um, I think she said Visly. I don't use that. I don't use Project Broadcast because I completely butchered pro Project bar Broadcast. Um, but I schedule everything and I keep it simple. Um, I think it's a lot easier than overthinking things and being consistent. People are seeing that. And I know that a lot of people get worried about um, posting too much and like annoying people. And, you know, that's, that's just your business. That's the kind of stuff you have to do to be successful. So, you know, if somebody doesn't want to see the posts and they can unfollow you or they may leave your group and still be on your, you know, personal Facebook page, but that's your business and you have to build your business and keep yourself going and being consistent keep posting. Um, I do, um, I recommend to, you know, anybody follow directors, follow Morgan, which I'm sure everybody here does follow Kelsey, follow, um, the DPP, follow Wendy Newgrass, follow everybody because everybody out there is running their business and you, you know, don't do things the way they're doing it because that's their business. Create it to be your own. Um, but you get little ideas. You know, there might be something that you see somebody post and then you can just create your own verbiage to make it personal um, to meet your business and who you are as far as like your personality. Because Morgan might do one thing and you know, I might do something completely different, but it's still similar when it comes down to posting. Um, I do a lot of like mystery bags, 10 bar specials, creating those special six packs for like Morgan, I think Morgan said, um, cause people like a vanilla scent. So I'm going to bundle a vanilla, you know, vanilla wax to meet whoever my customers are. Um, I like to do mystery host parties. Um, so I have, you know, sometimes three to six hosts that will invite people. I do all the posting, they do uh, some interacting. And when all is said and done, I draw a name and somebody's going to win all those rewards. And it just keeps them going and excited because they're, you know, they're kind of building up to getting all the free or half price items. Um, I've had success with those. Um, I do a lot of giveaways in my groups or my parties, um, and in my VIP group, whether it's something as small as a scent circle or a car bar or, um, a bar of wax, whatever it may be, room spray. If somebody likes them, then I'd send them something like that. Um, but definitely keeping it simple. I like, um, not overthinking things. I can't overthink things, especially right now. But Kelsey said a lot how simple things are, especially doing it a home party. They're the exact same when you're on Facebook. Um, people can pick and choose, like I said, to, to follow you, to like it. Um, but the more consistent you are posting daily, posting a couple times a day, different products, you know, just get that spread out there. People are watching. They may not comment. They may not like, they may not share, but they're, they're watching and they'll eventually buy. It takes time, especially for new people. Um, as far as recruiting goes, I guess, and I'm so sorry if I'm off track here, but, um, as far as recruiting goes, I talk to everybody. I, I'm a people person. I like to talk to people, whether it's, on Facebook, on the phone, in a text message, on a Zoom call. I, I just like talking to people. Um, so every time I have a party for myself, you know, I have a shopping link open, open for myself. I earn the rewards um, for my, and I put those back into my business. But um, I always post, I have a zero cost kit available or something along those lines, or 
who wants to join Sensi? Or, you know, I just put some type of verbiage out there on Facebook so everybody can see it. Some people have, there. there's actually been quite a few people who have reached out to me, they're interested, or I tell them to raise their hand and they, you know, post a, a GIF or GIF or whatever it's called. Um, and that's where all my teammates have come from is having those host kits available. I have, like I said, a team of, I think 14 directly underneath me and the other four or five are under them. But I have people who just want the kit. They get the kit and then they're like, how do you sell this stuff? What do you do? And then they turn into a consultant, not just wanting the free kit for the host um, exclusive. Um, the more you post about recruiting or joining your team or share your story, tell people what the benefits are, what the pros are about being a consultant, getting early access, getting the incentives, the free trips or the all exclusive trips to Hawaii or, you know, SFR, things like that. The more you share that stuff, the more it's going to pique people's interest and they're going to ask questions. Um, I think verbiage is a big deal when it comes to recruiting. Some people don't know what to even say to people when, you know, when they're trying to promote join my team or when somebody asks what it's like to sell sense, you just don't know what to say. Um, the way I do it is I pretty much explain to them. There's no sales requirements. People can be kidnappers. They can get it for free. They don't have to have the sales. Um, some people just want to get paid back on their purchases because like me and probably like all of you, you love Sensi, you want the free stuff and you're going to get paid back for buying it. Um, explain that there's no requirements to have inventory on hand. Um, there's no contracts. People have nothing to lose at all um, to sign up to join your team especially if you're having parties where you have a free or discounted host exclusive kit, they really have nothing to lose. Um, and then when you have hosts and Kelsey touched on this a little bit with even an in-home party, but when you have a host and they hit a minimum $200 in sales, or 500 in sales, or even a thousand or more, you should have those conversations with them. And I, I don't want to say like being greedy and keeping everything to yourself, but growing your team makes things like you have endless possibilities having a team underneath of you. But when you have a host, you should be talking to them and letting them know if you have a $200 qualifying party, you're going to have X, you know, twenty dollars in free credit, one half price item, but you could also earn forty dollars in commissions. Or you have a five hundred dollar party, and you're going to have a hundred dollars in commissions. And like those things, people are like, I only I do five hundred dollars in sales, and I get a hundred dollars back. How does that work? Now you're opening up a whole nother conversation on recruiting and building your team. Um. Let's see. Um, if you aren't really sure where to start, like whether you're new or you've been around for a while, you don't know where to start, set goals. Um, that's what I do. I have stuff everywhere, like our 12 months, I've got that printed off. I color it. I have fun with it. I do my own thing. It's just kind of, you know, my way of keeping things simple, setting goals for myself and having fun. Like if you're not having fun doing it, then you've got to change something because it should be fun. It's supposed to, you know, be supporting your family, bringing the money in, you know, getting where you're comfortable and still having fun. Um, start out small, set small goals for yourself, like being active and having 200 PRV. Once you hit that, say you did that in January. Um, once you do that, then in February, bump it up to 350 or 400 or whatever you're comfortable with just to challenge yourself. Um, reach out to your sponsor or get a Sensi Buddy and not not our little Sensi Buddy stuffed animals, but another consultant. Um, 
and bounce ideas off of each other. I have a couple consultants. I don't even know where they're from. I don't, I don't know them from Adam, but they've added me as, as friends on Facebook and they've asked me questions and I love helping people, whether they're on my team or not. I, I help people. And when I post stuff on my Facebook, if they want to use it, use it. Just make sure you change your shopping link because then if people order under me, then there may be a, a conflict there. But, you, you know, I'm, I'm always here to help answer questions or kind of be a sensey buddy and bounce ideas or give ideas to somebody. Um, and I already mentioned following directors on Facebook. If you don't know who directors are, when you hear those names from people who walk across stage at SFR or um, you see them at world tour or you, you know, whatever it may be, those are the people that you want to follow. Those are the people that I look up to that I'm like, someday I'm going to be done with my job permanently. And um, I'm going to be like Morgan. I'm going to quit my job at the hospital. I work from home for a hospital, but I'm going to quit my job and I'm going to do Sensi. And my husband's a firefighter and he's been in the service for 33 years, about to retire. And it's like, we just, we need something else. And this is where I'm going to be. So that's my goal. Um, one thing that I was going to say was don't let success slip through your fingertips. Um, there's sales opportunities out there everywhere. Um, share whatever you're sharing in your VIP group or a party group group page, however you're doing your parties, um, share it on your personal page, share it on your Facebook stories, share it on Instagram, share it everywhere, because that's where everybody's looking. Um, if you have all your customers, send them text messages. I send text messages directly from my phone. Like I said, I don't use all the apps and things like that. Cause I just, I can't figure it out right now. Um, but I send text messages and I got quite a few customers that want a mystery bag or want to stock up on wax because we're coming down to the end or that have already placed their orders. Um, so that's huge. Just don't, don't give up if you're, if you're feeling a little, um, defeated, I guess, don't give up on that. Um, there's always time to be posting or having any type of conversations with people. Um, you know, when, when the kids are in bed, like I said, I have three teenage kids, they stay up later than I do. But when I go to bed, I might take a few minutes to schedule my posts for the next day. Um, it makes it a lot easier for me. Um, if you have questions about any of it, as far as recruiting goes, I'm sorry, I'm not like fully there when I'm talking about the recruiting side of things. Um, but I'm happy to answer questions. I'm on Facebook. You guys can friend request me. You can send me messages. Um, you want to be friends. You want feedback. You want ideas, need, you know, ideas for posting or verbiage or having conversations with people. I'm, I'm here to help. So send me a friend request. I'll accept it and I'll be your sensey buddy. Um, I have not been to world tour or SFR, um, last year I did virtual SFR because of conflict. Um, this year I signed up for world tour in St. Louis because I'm in West central Illinois, but because of my chemo schedule, I cannot go. Um, so if anybody's going take pictures, cause I want to see them. Um, SFR, we will be at show the world and your friends, your accomplishments. I think that's one of the biggest things. Um, and Morgan, I'll end with this here, but, um, I was so close to my annual sales. I didn't even, I didn't even post how close I was until the very end, but I was trying to get to level two, um, so we could get to Orlando and I'm taking my husband and all three of my kids are going and it's going to be a whole big thing because we need a vacation. Um, but if you post on Facebook, your accomplishments and how close you are and what your goals are, your tribe will respond. And when I say your tribe, I'm talking about all your friends, 
all your family, all your customers, everybody that you have on Facebook will respond. So in January, I was, I think, close to 11,000 points away from hitting level two. And I thought, there's no way. I don't even know how this is possible. I don't know what I'm doing because obviously it's the first time that I've gone through the whole um, oh incentive. So I ended up with, I think, 30, 30, almost 34,000 points total. But um, I had friends who came together. I had 11 parties in January. Um, I had three girls underneath me that were close to promoting. I helped them with some posts, like shout outs, like, hey, so-and-so is only... $200 away from her first promotion and earning um, a pay increase, blah, blah, blah. All three of those girls ended up promoting um, the second to last week in January, I believe. And I ended up being exactly where I needed to be um, because my tribe, everybody that I have in my life pulled together and helps me get my Orlando trip. Um, so it was amazing. But I think that's what I have as far as recruiting goes um, and as far as sales. If you guys keep posting, keep sharing um, new products, products leaving, your favorite and why it's your favorite, share your story, be personal, post pictures of yourself with the products, not just um, you know a flyer take a picture and be like, Oh, coastal sun says my favorite pods. These are on my work desk right now, but, um, like make it personal because people are going to stop and look at a picture of you before they're going to look at a picture of a flyer. So, um, like I said, if you guys need help or have questions or want to be friends or anything like that, and just send me a friend request and I'd be happy to help. Um, Morgan, I hope that summed up recruiting in a nutshell on my end um and in the sales yes that was perfect so good you are so inspiring I just love you um thank you for doing that and I think the key with Stephanie is she is authentic she shares her story often she connects with people that is when people are going to show up for you like she's talking about sharing your goals um, my customers are the same, like you show up for them and you connect with them and you add value to their life. They're going to give that back to you. So it's all about how you treat those people. Um, and when you are authentic and you are yourself and you share your story, you're going to connect with people. People are going to relate to you. They're going to want to support you. And then they're going to want to join your team. Okay. Jacqueline, are you back? Let's see where you're at. I think you are still muted. You are still muted. Can you guys hear me? Yes, we can now. Okay. Okay, I had to switch my um, thing. All right, so I'm going to start by introducing myself. Um, my name is Jacqueline. I started with Sensi uh, towards the end of September, um, like the last two weeks. Um, in the last two weeks of September, I, I got about 400 PRV. And then um, from there... I kept making bigger goals. So how I generally work my business is um, I, I, I don't do any like in person much, um, but I'm more so like Stephanie said, I'm more online, um, continuously posting on all my socials. Um, last month, I actually started doing like a door to door around my community. 
um, and I I gained seven new customers. Um, so that's like a big accomplishment for me. Um, I, I always start small with my goal, but then um, I up it after each time to push myself. Um, when I first started Sensi, I had a lot of people who were so negative towards me about it, and I didn't let that affect me. I, I went out of my way. I was like, I know I can do this. I'm going to do this. I, 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 I essentially just made smart goals. Um, with me, I have two kids um, under the age of five, and I work a full-time job um, Monday through Friday. And then I also, um, sorry, thinking, I'm also a full-time student. Um, so I'm, I'm going for business management. I take the skills I learn in business management and I apply it to my business. Um, and then some fun things that I do with my customers is monthly. I do like fun things. Like I, I do a raffle. I take my free products that I got out of the parties and I put those in a raffle uh, basket. I essentially only spend $10 on baskets each month. Um, this month, I am also doing something special for my VIPs as well. Um, I, so I usually do a raffle for everybody and then something for my VIPs. Um, and lately, I've been posting um, how, how far away I, I am reaching my goal. And last month, I, I was actually able to make that goal. Um, and every ever since that first 400 in September, each month I was getting... 1,500 to like 1,700. So last month I'm like, okay, I'm going to really step it up. I'm going to take everything in my power and go out to businesses, leave my business card, leave um, a catalog. And that also helped me with getting customers. I also reach out on um, my community pages I'm like I I'm a sensei consultant uh I'm just start like I'm just starting out pretty much um I, I've only been with sensei since September and it's really changed my life um and I'm always so personal with all my wording um and I get to know the customer as well like for example when I did a door-to-door -door a few weeks ago um the lady around here she she's blind she's disabled so I, I described the sense I let her smell um I had some with me um and she was sold on that um I work my business from like five to like 10 at night most times um sometimes I do it on my breaks for like my lunch breaks for a half hour my 15 minute breaks I check everything I'm always it takes a little bit of for me to get out of my comfort zone push myself um I am a people person so I do like to talk um but sometimes just approaching them can make me nervous so like my anxiety kicks in but I know I can do it um I, I take everything in my power and once I put my mind to something I know I can do it um I have a lot of support um my kids they call it their business. So that's, that's a fun thing. Um, there, there'll be times where some like last month to encourage them to do something. I was like, do you want a sensi buddy? You know, cause they, they really love their sensi buddies. And I'm like, well, if you want a sensi buddy, you have to do your chores. I have small chores for them to do. Um, and so they actually did them and I didn't think they would, <laughs> but they did because I wanted a sensi buddy. I need um, to borrow that. That's genius. Why have I never thought of that? <laughs> yeah. Um, it, it was just like, came out of the blue a couple weeks ago and their Sensi Buddies actually came yesterday and their room was a mess again. I'm like, well, if you want your Sensi Buddy, you got to clean. Um, I was like, you're my oldest, she's five and she's in 4K. And I'm like, do you pick up at school? Yes. Well, you need to pick up at home. Um, to do that, you need to start picking up and then you can have your sense of buddy. It took her 
five hours to try to get her to clean it, but she did. And then so she got her Scentsy Buddy and she got Hedwig. And because she loves Harry Potter like I do. Um, and then, um, so they have a total because they they talked to grandma for Christmas and that was on their Christmas list um, is all they wanted was Scentsy Buddies. So that's what they got. <laughs> so they have a total of like 10, um, but they really like it. And then they wanted to extend it um, to gifting their cousins, they have two cousins, no, three cousins, um, that they wanted to gift Sensi Buddies to for Christmas, so they can get the love for it, um, I have a bunch of support, like my sister-in-law, her family, um, I have my family, I have a lot of people, that are just like, hey, how are you doing in your business? How how far away are you from your goal? And I'm like, well, I, I'm, I send them the screenshots and I, I tell them this is how far I'm away. Um, and yeah, yesterday I started the Cinderella challenge to some of my um, most valuable customers, uh, and that actually worked. I got six orders or something like that yesterday and I, I take things I see that you guys post and I also apply it to my business and you guys are all inspiring I, I took the back in October being my first month I took the tip from Morgan and got a car sticker for my Suburban um, and that's worked um, when I'm, I'm unloading my kids at a store a lot of people are like oh you're in Sensi how, how, how is it and so like I go into this one local consignment shop, it's a small business. Um, and she, she always asks me about it. And she, she was like, you can bring some of your brochure catalogs, your business cards and any products here if you want. So I did that drop off this morning and she was in love with the car cozy cardigan, um, fragrance flower. And she said, she's going to go on tonight and Put it in a Sensi Club, and just when the meeting started, I actually got two Sensi Club subscribers off of that. Yes. Hey, I had to jump up. Um, I don't know if you've shared this yet, but there was a question about like initiating in-person conversations about Sensi, like if you're out or if you're going to a local business or you're mm -hmm. like, how do you initiate that conversation? Well, um, let's say I'll take the one from last week for example. Um, I I went to uh, our local bakery and um, so after I, when I was getting my stuff, I was talking to them and I, and then they were talking about small businesses and I was like, um, have you ever heard of Sensi? And she was like, yeah, I have. And she's like, I've never personally tried it, but I have. And then, and I, then I was like, I, I'm an independent consultant. Um, would it be okay if I would bring a couple catalogs by maybe a sample and she was like yeah that's awesome I'd love to support you you know um she has people in her family that has been talking about Sensi um and they don't know any consultants and so I've also just got a couple more messages from a party I have some family like all over the state of Wisconsin and a couple other family members just reached out to me just by seeing my post and they're and they're like I I sorry they're like I want to join how do I join how do I get some of these scents how do I get some of the scents into a scentsy club I I I um created that and then sent them their link to do the payments and everything so I. I just casually bring it up is how I would say. Yeah, that's good advice. I love that. Um, and you asked, you didn't just like, hey, I sell Scentsy, like just shove it in their face. <laughs> right, I asked. Yeah. Um, it, it took me a big step to do that, but I was able to manage it and do it. And this month I have five parties going to, going on to one of them's going on right now one starts Monday and then a couple weeks after that is each of the other ones awesome 
Um, Do you have anything else you need to share? Um, we are about to have to leave and go to basketball photos. That's I don't think so. About that. I don't think so. Um, if anybody also has questions for me, you can also reach out to me, like Stephanie said, and Facebook message. Okay, awesome. Thank you so much. Um, I'm so proud of you. I don't remember when you joined, but it's been pretty recently. Uh, I joined September 21st, and each month from there, the first month was 400 in PRV. Uh, the second month was 1,300. The next month after that was 1,500, 1,700, and now 2,000. Yes, that 2,000 PRV month hits different. <laughs> It makes you so proud because all the networking you're doing and all the meeting new people and that finally pays off. And um, I'm going to answer one last question that somebody had asked about, because I love this. She asked, what are, crap, I lost the question. Where did it go? My phone decided to go back to the Facebook group. She asked, Top three habits at the beginning of my journey that helped me get on the path that I wanted and I'm still using today. Um, so I would say number one would be parties. Um, and like I said, because, you know, networking in any way, going to local businesses, giving out business bags like I do or bag parties or, you know, whatever. Um, taking samples to your hairstylist, leaving a wall fan at their office with their with pods in it. I have multiple wall fans out at hair salons. What was that? What was that? Oh, marbles! Goodness gracious! I thought you like broke something. Um. So, but parties, you can meet so many people at one time. Like you can meet 10 new contacts at a party and book two parties at that party. And that's the biggest thing is focusing on bookings at every party. You can't just have a party and get 10 new customers and then be done with it. You have to party, book parties at that party, party, book parties at that party and continue or your business will just die. Like it has to continue to grow and that's the fastest way. So you can go out and meet new people, you know, and spend hours and hours and hours and hours and hours doing that. Or you can have consistent parties. You can have six parties a month. I always front loaded six to eight parties a month. That way I had like four successful ones because you're not going to have a success rate of 100%, trust me. Um, you want to front load those, meaning schedule them in the first two weeks of the month. That way, if any of them fail or cancel, then you can have time to make up for that PRV. That is very important. So on the 15th of the month, you should be booking for the following month, every month. Um, but parties, you're meeting those 10 people, then say two people book at that party. So then that brings you 20 new customers from their parties. And then those two people, the, you know, like it keeps going. You're going to get 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 new customers each time and you're spending what an hour at the party like doing the party so um that's number one my top thing is six to eight front loaded parties number two is sharing my story connecting with people I already talked about that it's so important people can buy Scentsy from anybody you've got to give them a reason to buy it from you um, and then number three is 30 join conversations a month. And it sounds like a lot, but break it down into weeks. And if you're partying like that and you're meeting that many new people, you're going to have plenty of people to have conversations with. Like Stephanie said, she's partying, she's meeting new people. So she's not having join conversations with the same people over and over. Like that's going to run people off. So if you are now, yes, some people will be interested. You need to put them on a list and follow up with them once a month. Like, hey, this is a join special. Do you want to try to earn your kit? Whatever. But um, 30 join conversations a month, that got me two to five new team members every month. And I have slacked on the 30 the last few months um, because I haven't been partying as much, but changing that. So that's my top three. Um, I appreciate y'all. If you hung in here this long, I appreciate you so much. <laughs> Either way, I appreciate you. And I really enjoyed this. I feel like there was so much good stuff shared. Thank you, Kelsey. Thank you, Jacqueline. Thank you, Stephanie. Um, I will let y'all know when the next call will be. I'm already excited for that. I'm excited for world tour. I'm sure almost everybody on here is going. So have fun at that. Learn so many new things. Talk to people that you've been wanting to meet. Soak it all in. And I will talk to y'all again soon. Y'all have a good rest of your weekend. Bye.